how are you? Nefertiti Pointer here with the Devereaux Center for Resilient Children. So excited to once again share some strategies for building and promoting our resilience. This time around, I actually have some notes because this strategy is important and I want to make sure I unfold all of the pieces together in our video. I am taking this tip again from the Building Your Balance Simple Strategies for a Resilient You book. And I want to talk a little bit today about the importance of empathy. Empathy. You know, empathy doesn't mean you have to agree with a person. When you are working to be empathetic, what you are trying to, to ask yourself is three things. And I want to make sure I get these right. So I want to share them with you. You want to ask yourself, what is this person feeling? That's what you want to ask yourself. You want to ask yourself, have I ever felt this way? Have I ever felt this way? And then number three, you would want to ask yourself, how would I want to be treated if I felt this way? That's what you're asking yourself. What is this person feeling? Have I ever felt that way? And if I felt that way, how would I want to be treated? You're trying to empathize with the feeling. Maybe the experience is not one that you know, but that feeling is something that you may have an understanding of. And then you think to yourself, how would I want to be treated if I were feeling that way? That is a beginning step towards practicing empathy and being empathetic. And again, as I said when I started, it doesn't mean you have to agree with the person. Maybe you, the same thing happened to you and you didn't feel that way. That's okay. That's okay. You're just trying to better understand how that person might be feeling. And sometimes we get it wrong. We get it wrong. And so if we just think of COVID-19 and how the people that we love and care about are experiencing it, I want to encourage you to do this. Ask that person, how is this experience affecting you? Just ask them, how is this experience experience affecting you? I'm raising a 15 year old. I think that's a great question to pose to her. I think I know what I'll ask if I ask my five year old. I kind of think I know how she might respond. It could be a combination of, I miss going to school, I miss my dance class, or can Barbie go outside? Because she's five, that's how her question and response, her, her answers go. And then I probably could also ask my husband that question because maybe I've been making assumptions on how this is affecting all of the family and, and my family and friends. So I just want to ask them. And so this tip is for me as much as it is for you. Let's practice some empathy so we can see each other again and think about how others are experiencing this pandemic we call COVID-19, how it is making them feel, and what might they need because of how they are feeling. And if you don't know, the best thing to do is ask. Hope this makes sense. Thank you for listening. I look forward to joining you again in an upcoming tip.